this video, I'm going to show you how to use the M9 sound card for Zoom meeting from a PC or a laptop. Without further ado, let's get started. And now let me show you the setup. The setup is pretty simple. So what you will need is you will need this one, USB type A to USB type C. This cord normally comes when you buy an M9 sound card. You can also use an, a Samsung charger. So the one that has a type C to type A. So from here, we will connect one end to this M9 sound card to the one that says OTG slash PC Live. So one, end goes there and then the other end just locate the USB port of uh, that laptop or computer so this one just uh, located on this uh, side here you can connect a headset or an earphone to monitor the audio I will connect this one to the one that says headset right there okay and uh, for the microphone I will be using a condenser microphone you can also use the headset if you want but once uh, the condenser microphone is connected in this type of sound card the headset microphone the built-in microphone of that will not work so again we will use this condenser microphone for uh, this setup okay so of course one end goes here just select one here mic one or two let's connect the one that says mic two and of course the other end will connect to here there you go. And by the way, this uh, gadget or device on here, I will use this one as my uh, participant so you can hear also the audio output coming out from this uh, device as a participant. And the laptop, pretty much, we will use this one as a host of this Zoom meeting. Okay, and now let's uh, get started. So as a host, of course, you will set or tap that, the one that says new meeting. And okay, there I am. And uh, now we can turn on this M9 sound card. Just hold to do three seconds and it should turn on. There you go. And of course here it's asking us to join with computer audio and let's do that. Okay, so let's just uh, maximize this one. Okay, so from here, what you do is uh, for this uh, other device to join. So go to uh, here to the one that says participant okay and hit invite okay so the code is uh, the meeting code is just over there and now let's uh, join this device now so let's enter that number up there okay and hit join and now the password or passcode is just down here so let's enter that as well and that is case sensitive okay and let's hit continue Okay, and now let's uh, top Wi-Fi or cellular data. Okay, there it is. So we can now X out from here. Okay, so as you can see, it's now connected. So again, this is as a host and this is as a participant. Okay, so from here, uh, you should make sure first to set uh, that uh, your M9 sound card is set as your speaker and your, your uh, microphone. So what you should do is go to here, the one that says uh, the, the video there the video icon so open that and go to video setting okay so from here go to audio select audio and uh, from here so as you can see the speaker is already uh, this one is selected so the name of this one is MV silicon b1 USB audio and then the microphone is also this one already Okay, so we're good. Okay, let's uh, go out from there. Okay, so now let me uh, turn the volume from here so you can hear as well. Okay. Okay, so there is no audio coming out as you can see from here yet because the microphone volume here is still at zero. So we have to turn this up for, for the participant to be able to hear us. Okay, let's turn it up now. Okay, there you go. Okay, so as you can see, you can hear now the uh, audio coming out from this uh, device as a participant. Now, as you can see, your participant is able to hear you using this uh, condenser microphone. And uh, now, 
uh, if you want uh, your vocals or audio to be flat, which means without any reverb, you just have to tap this one, the one that says uh, primal sound. Okay, so now the primal sound is turned on and your voice uh, doesn't have any reverb anymore. Okay, sound check, testing. One, two. One, two. For your voice to have uh, reverb, reverb, if for example, example for for singing purposes, purposes, so what so you do what is you just you select, select one from one here. So it could so be a recording or a karaoke. karaoke. Okay, let's try recording. Okay, so okay, this, so is, this now is now recording. recording. Sound, sound check. check. Sound, sound check. check. And if you want to turn the reverb uh, some more up, okay, sound check. Testing one, two. And also, if you want to use the karaoke uh, tone here or mode, you can do that as well. Okay, let's select the karaoke. Okay, sound check. Testing. One, two. Okay, so this is now the karaoke uh, uh, tone or, or option on here. Sound check. Testing. One, two. Maybe that uh, echo or the reverb is too loud. Let's lower it. Maybe let's just set it at 3 o'clock. Okay, now if you want to select MC, okay, so this is MC, sound check, testing one, two. So uh, what it is, is uh, the reverb is not as uh, loud compared to the karaoke and studio. Now the crack here is just to boost your sound. Let's say for example, you wanted it a little bit louder, then you can select this one. Okay, let's try that. Sound check, and then I'm gonna chop this crack. Sound check, testing, one, two. Okay, anyway, I don't know if you know the difference, but uh, I have showed that when I review this, uh, this M9 sound card on my previous video. I'm just gonna post it uh, on the description below. And now you can use, of course, this voice changer on here if you want to, to sound like a baby. Okay, sound check, testing, one, two. And if you want to sound like a female, then there it is, that's a female sound. And then sound check, and this is a male sound. And then the magic sound or monster sound. There you go. Okay, so now let's just go back to maybe, let's go to primal sound, so with no effect. There it is, so the, the vocals right now is uh, flat without anything. Now, if you want to use the special effects built in preset uh, sound effects on here, you can as well. But take note, there is a volume for this one here. So for example, if the special effect here is at zero, so the volume knob for that, for let's say for example, let's uh, tap the yell. Okay, and the laughter. Okay, so as you notice, your participant did not hear that because the sound effect volume knob on here is at zero. Now let's turn it up. Okay, so maybe let's set it also at three o'clock. Okay, there it is. Okay, now let's uh, let's try a kiss. Okay, there you go. And then yell. Slash. Okay, and applause. Okay, and uh, let's try one last one. Cheer. Okay, there you go. So again, uh, if you want to use this uh, preset sound effects on here, do not forget to turn the volume up also on here. Otherwise, your audience or listeners or viewers will not be able to hear those uh, sound effects that you have selected. And now let's try playing this video on here from this laptop and let's check if your participant is able to hear that. Okay, let's play it. Okay, so you notice uh, your participant is not hearing anything. That is because your backing track uh, volume here is at zero. So what you do, make sure to turn this up. Okay, let's turn it up. There it is. Okay, let's pause this one. As you can see, your participant will not be able to hear that uh, music that you are playing from this laptop if the backing track here is at zero or at low. So make sure to turn this up for your participant to hear that song or any music, background music that you are playing. And of course, the monitor here is just uh, for you to monitor if you're using it. I'm not using it right now because I am just listening my voice through this uh, participant on here. 
Okay, so now the mute on here, so the mute is a uh, of course, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, if, if I turn the mute on on here, your participant will not be able to hear you. Okay, let's, uh, okay, sound check, testing, one, two, sound check. Okay, now I'm gonna hit mute. Sound check, testing, one, two. So as you notice, when I turn the mute on, your participant did not hear you talking. So that's the use of that. What if we're playing the background music? Let's see if if that is also the same with the background music playing. Okay, let's uh, play this one. Okay, and I'm gonna hit now the mute button on here. Okay, there you go. So as you notice, okay, so there you go. As you notice, even if I I turn on the mute on here, uh, your participant still able to still able to hear the background music. So it's only for this microphone. So again, as you notice. Uh, playing the background music from this laptop by turning on this mute button on here it only muted you uh, with using this uh, microphone but not the background music now let me show you the use of this internal play okay so what it is is if you are playing a background music and for example you do not want your viewers or or listeners uh, to hear that background music you're playing then you turn this off so as you notice right now it has a green light on it so which means if you play this for example this background music your participant are still able to hear that but if you turn this off so without the green light on there your participant will not be able to hear that background music so only you as a host or only you who is using this m9 sound card is able to hear the background music okay so let's uh, okay so let's uh, give it a try let's play this uh, music on here Okay, so right now it's playing. Okay, now if I'm going to uh, top this internal play. Okay, so as you notice, the uh, background music now from the participant view, they are not able to hear that music uh, right now because you turn it off from here. So as you notice, it's now a, a white color here. There's no green anymore. And it's only you as a host or whoever is connecting this M9 sound card is able to hear the background music from this uh, headset. Okay, now if we're going to turn it back on again, okay, let's turn it on and you will notice the audio will come out again from this uh, participant view. Okay, there you go. Okay, now, Okay, okay, now uh, let's try the elimination. Elimination is same as other uh, sound cards. So as you notice, this video that I'm playing right now has vocals and instrument. So if you click the elimination, this uh, song right now that I'm playing from YouTube, it will turn into somehow a karaoke song. It will remove the, uh, the vocals and it turns into a, a minus one or a karaoke song. Okay, let's do it. Okay, let's play this one. Okay, and now I'm going to turn on the elimination. Okay, so as you notice, I could hardly hear the vocals when I turn on this uh, elimination. And the denoise button on here is uh, to reduce uh, the background noises. So let's say a fan going on or uh, whatever. So it's up to you if you want to turn uh, this uh, on. And now let me show you what is the difference if you share this video from this laptop to your uh, to your Zoom uh, conference. Okay, let me show you. So what we do is we go to here and uh, tap that screen share. 
Okay, and let's share this, um, the YouTube song. Okay, this one here. Let's share this. First, let me show you sharing it without sharing the sound. So just sharing the video. Let's check if your participant still able to hear that uh, audio from that video. Okay, so again, I did not uh, click, I will not click the share sound, just the video. And let's see if the participant still able to hear that uh, uh, audio from that video. Okay, let's stop that and now let's hit share. Okay, so now as you can see, your uh, participant is able to see that specific video. And now let's uh, hit play on here and let's check if the participant still uh, hear the 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 audio, even if we did not really share the uh, audio on it. Okay, let's start. Let's hit play. Okay, there you go. So as you can see, uh, even if you did not share the uh, the uh, audio, when you share this uh, video, your participant is able to hear that uh, audio from this video. Now, let me show you. So let's stop the share, stop share on there. So what we will do this time is we're going to share again that same uh, uh, YouTube song. And this time I'm going to share the sound so you can compare. Okay, let's uh, share the sound. And now let's hit share. Okay, there it is again. And uh, now let's hit play on here and let's compare. Okay, there you go. So in other words, if you screen share uh, whatever you are watching, either you share the audio or you don't share the audio, your participant still able to hear that audio. But the only difference is if you share also the audio, the audio from the participant's view is a little bit louder and more clearer. Okay, so now uh, what we will do is uh, let's see if uh, the internal play here will work like the ones I showed you earlier. So what we'll do is let's go out from here, stop sharing. And uh, so first let's uh, share this uh, th that same video, but we will not share the sound. And okay, let's hit share. Okay, so there it is again. Okay. okay, and uh, let's play this song and then I'm going to hit uh, internal play and we'll see if the participant won't be able to hear the uh, audio, just the video. Okay, let's uh, play this one. Okay, and now I'm going to hit internal play on here. Okay, there you go. So as you can see, uh, even if you share this video, so again, in this setup, I shared this video with audio from YouTube, but I did not uh, share the sound. And when I top the internal play off on here, so as you notice, it's on white color. So when I turn it off on here, your viewers or participants are not able to hear that uh, audio from this video. Okay, let's turn it on again so your participant is able to hear that uh, uh, song. Okay, let's turn on the internal play on here. Okay, there you go. Okay, now let's, uh, let's uh, stop this one and uh, let's stop the sharing. Okay, so this time what we will do is we are going to screen share again that same video with audio and this time let's share the sound. Okay, let's share sound and share. Okay, this time let me show you what is the difference if uh, we're going to turn off the internal play on here. Okay, so let's play this one. Okay, so right now your participant is able to hear that uh, the audio of that video. And now let's try turning off the internal play on here. Okay, there you go. So I hope you notice. And now I'm going to turn it on. And I'm going to turn it off. Okay, there you go. 
Okay, turn it on again. Okay. Okay, so now oh, let's pause this one. Okay, so as you notice, if you share a video with audio, let's say from YouTube or, or any other sources, uh, for as long as it's from this laptop, if you share the audio, like when you share this video, even if the internal play here is, is off, your participant still able to hear that. So only if you don't share the, the audio when you share this video, then that is the that's the only time the internal play here will work so which means if you do not want your participant to hear the audio of that video then do not share the uh, do not share the uh, audio okay let me show you again so from here when you're about to share the video so this is the video i just played so if you do not uh, share the uh, sound so if you do not share the sound on here the internal play here on and off will work so which means if you do not want to let your participant hear that uh, music or background music then you can turn this off so as long as the share sound here is turned off so don't tick that off over here when you share the sound even if you turn on and off this internal play your participant are still able to hear that background music you are playing so that is the difference if you share or un or not share the sound of that uh, video that you wanted to share to your participant okay so now let's get out from there okay so far from here um uh, it's up to you to uh, play around or to to uh, to set whatever is your preferred audio. When it comes to high, mid, and low, high is more of a treble, and then the low is more of a bass, and then the mid. Um, I actually still really don't know how, how what's the mid there. Normally, I would just put it maybe at one o'clock. But for those who are experts on audio then they know what to do on the mid there the record volume knob here when you're doing live streaming like this one right now make sure it's always on high otherwise there won't be no audio on the participants view we can try that okay sound check testing one two if i'm going to turn this uh, let's say to zero okay sound check testing one two one two three four sound check testing one two so as you notice when i turn this uh, this volume knob here to zero you did not hear me from this uh, device as our participant so make sure to turn this uh, record volume knob up for your participant to, to be able to hear you as well and whatever you're playing music or you're talking so this has to be turned on all the time and the monitor so of course you will need this one if you're doing an actual uh, zoom meeting it's just me i'm not using it really because I'm just uh, listening my voice to here. I know there is a little bit of delay, but uh, at least uh, you will notice that there is audio coming out uh, from this device as your participant. And now let me show you uh, the use of this one button bell canto. So uh, I am not sure yet what else is the use of this uh, one button bell canto, if there are other use of that. So what I notice is, uh, for example, right now, we are uh, currently using the primal sound. When you uh, click the one button canto, it would go to the karaoke uh, mode. Okay, let's do it. Sound chart testing one, two. And when I uh, top this one or turn on the one button bell canto, sound check testing one two so as you notice it has that uh, reverb which sounds uh, pretty much the same as the karaoke mode over there okay now let me show you the use of this uh, bluetooth and this um, play pause and forward and rewind so this uh, one here this four buttons on here this is if uh, let's just uh, go back to primal sound okay so this four buttons on here if for example you are adding a background music uh, connected to this m9 sound card by bluetooth so those are the use of this one here okay let's use this other device on here so to connect uh, the bluetooth uh, simply on that the source of background music go to settings find bluetooth make sure it's turned on okay and find the m9 on here so it's just right there so let's stop that to pair them Okay, so I believe, okay, so it says connected, so they're now connected. So if we play anything on here uh, with audio, then it will pick up also connected to this M9 sound card. 
and uh, from that uh, your audience or participants are able to hear that as well. Okay, let's go to YouTube on here. Okay, so let's say for example, uh, let's uh, okay, let's play this one here. Okay, so I am now currently playing uh, this uh, song on here. Okay, so now if you want to pause it, then that is the time you can use this one here. So you do not really need to pause from this device. You can use it, uh, you can use this pause and play on here. Okay, so as you notice, it did pause uh, this uh, video on here. And now if we're going to play it, hit play again. Okay, so that is the use of this uh, buttons on here. And now the uh, forward or rewind or the song next to this or whatever video next to this, it will do that as well. Okay, let's uh, try tapping this one here. So I just tap once and it goes to the next uh, video from the YouTube. If we uh, tap the this uh, rewind button on here just once, then it goes back to this uh, video again. So now, let me show you how to use this uh, voiceover on here. So this is very common on uh, other type of sound cards. So if, for example, you are playing background music and when you talk, that uh, background music volume will go down as you talk. And when you stop talking, your background music will go up again. Okay, let's uh, play this uh, same song on here. Okay, and now I'm going to turn on the voiceover on here. Okay, now that the voiceover is turned on, as you notice, you could hardly hear now the background music from this participant's view. But if I'm going to stop talking, Okay, there you go. So again, that is the use of the uh, voiceover on there. So let's now pause this song and then the voiceover turned off. And that's all I can share for today. Thanks again, guys, for watching. If you like this type of video, please give it a like. And if you want more of this type of videos, uh, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be posting. Keep safe and until next time.